paddling their way to the Far East. They're practicing on the Potomac, raising money and recruiting new teammates all the time. Tonight, Channel 9's Andrea McCarran introduces us to Jack's Dragon Ladies. All right, let's make it look good. Paddle. Two evenings a week, an economist, a secretary, an engineer, and a group of other professional women who work in the nation's capital take to the Potomac River to paddle. They are members of a women's dragon boat team a rare breed of amateur athletes who possess strength, determination, and a sense of adventure. It's something that's unusual. It's something that's exciting. Um, there's, I like being part of a team because there's lots of camaraderie. Well, when we first started, it was night, and we would come out here on the water, and it would be cold out, but there'd be a warm breeze over the water, and you'd see the stars up, and, and you could see the monuments in the background. It was, just, it was just peaceful. I mean, it was a lot of hard work. You could be sweaty, you'd be dying, but then it would just be beautiful around you. With his eight-month-old daughter strapped to his back, Dave Armstrong coaches the team. Many of the women who have joined had never even held a paddle before, and now they endure wet and strenuous workouts. Most of these people couldn't paddle more than 30 seconds without gasping for breath eight months ago, and, and now they can go for three and four minutes at a time. There are only a handful of women's dragon boat teams in the United States, and this one is getting ready for a major competition. In eight weeks, these women will compete in Hong Kong. Unlike many other athletes, these women must pay their own way. But the rewards are extraordinary. The international flavor of dragon boating and flying halfway around the world to, to paddle for three minutes is the most unique thing I think I've ever done. With their sights set on Hong Kong and their paddles plunging into the Potomac, the team known as Jack's Dragon Ladies has navigated its way to a unique place in Washington history. Andrea McCarran, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Looks like hard work. Coming up next.